Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. Today I'll be demonstrating how to clear various caches in your windows to free up some disk space and smoothen up your windows operations. This could also speed up your windows, especially if you haven't performed such cleaning operations in a long while. Caches are often used to refer to temporary files that may be needed again in future or locations where such files are stored. Over time, such files could accumulate and begin to take up a lot of space and in some cases start affecting some Windows operations. So here I'll be demonstrating different ways to locate and delete such temporary files. But before we proceed, I'd like to talk a bit about Skillshare, a new way of learning that has become so popular recently. Skillshare is an online learning community with tens of thousands of classes covering dozens of practical, entrepreneurial and life skills that can help improve the quality of your work and life in general. So whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even launch an entire new career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. With premium membership, you get unlimited access to all resources so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Personally, I have enrolled to a number of classes to further improve my video editing skills, animation, graphics design, and web development. And so far, the outcome has been incredible to say the least. The interesting thing about this way of learning is that nearly all classes are organized by people who are actually in the field practicing their craft and discipline. This offers you a more real-life perspective of any skill or discipline you choose to learn. To crown it all, Skillshare is incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription costs less than $10 per month. Now, because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up using the link in the description to get a 2 months free premium subscription, during which you will have unlimited access to all these classes and resources. And now, without further ado, let's go ahead and clear our caches. Okay, so first we are going to run some simple commands to reveal temporary files in different locations on our windows. To do that, you go to your search and type run. Then click on the run app from the search results. On the run search box, type percentage temp percentage as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now this will show the temporary files from your applications. So here select all the files in this folder using Ctrl A. Then right click and select delete to remove them. Now if some files can't be deleted, just skip them and continue with the process. Next go back to the run app and type temp and then hit enter. Now this will show Windows temporary files. Again here select all the files and hit delete to remove them. Then go back again to the run one more time and type prefetch and hit enter. Here select all the files and hit delete to remove them. Remember to empty your recycle bin after such cleanup. The second step would be to delete old Windows installation files if you still have any. To do that, go to your search and type storage. Then click on storage settings from the search results. On this page, click on temporary files. After the scanning, you should have all this list of files you can remove. Among them would be your previous Windows installation files if you still have them on your PC. This old Windows installation could occupy quite a substantial amount of disk space. In my case, it holds about 5GB. It could be more or a bit less in your case. So I will select the box next to it. Here I also have all these other locations selected by default, which I don't need anymore. So with all that selected, I will go to the top here and click on remove files to delete them. Of course, you will not see this previous Windows installation if you just made a fresh installation to your PC or if it's been long you upgraded from one version of Windows to another. This is because Windows should automatically delete these files after some time. But if you are running out of disk space and you still have these old installations, then you could delete it manually using this method. Next is to clear your software distribution download folder. This folder normally stores automatic Windows update files. However, oftentimes after Windows have already installed these downloaded updates, these temporary files still remain in the download folder. To delete these temporary files, you will need to be logged in with an admin account. Then go to your computer folder and click on this PC. 
and open the drive where you have your Windows installation files. Usually it's the C drive. Here open the Windows folder. Then search for a folder named Software Distribution. In here open the download folder. And there you should see all the temporary Windows update files. Here again select all these files and hit delete to remove them. Next is to perform a disk cleanup. For that go to your search and type disk cleanup. Click on the disk cleanup app from the search results. On this dialog box, select the disk you want to clean up. I will be cleaning up my C drive, so I will leave the drive option as C and hit OK. Shortly after, a window like this should pop up. Here it says I can free up about 33 gigabytes, but nearly all of that is from my download folder. In your case, you may have all these other locations occupying substantial amount of disk spaces. So with all the unwanted locations selected, click on clean up system files. Hit OK and wait for the process to complete. Afterwards, you will see this window once again. Here, hit OK and then delete files. Now, I've observed that by running this process multiple times, more and more disk spaces get freed up. So you can run it a few times until you notice no further release of disk space. The next process would be to clear your Microsoft Windows Store cache. This is the location where Windows stores the temporary installation files for your Windows Store applications. After installing these apps, then it's okay to delete these temporary installation files. In addition, if you are having some issues installing certain apps from your Windows Store, then clearing this cache is one possible way to resolve such issues. To do that, go to your search and type CMD. Right-click on CMD from the search results and select Run as Administrator. On the command line terminal, type in the command WS Reset as shown on the screen and hit Enter. Wait for some time as the process runs on the background. Afterwards, your Microsoft Store should pop up indicating the process is now complete. Next would be to clear your media cache files. Now, this is the location where media editing applications like Premiere Pro and Photoshop store temporary media files. This cache could contain files in megabytes or several gigabytes, depending on how much media content you create on your computer. If you edit a lot of videos or photos, then it's likely that you have a large space occupied by these temporary files. To clear your media cache files, go to your computer folder, open the C drive, Go to Users and open your user account. Here open App Data. Then Roaming. Now depending on your media editing applications, mine is mainly Adobe Packages, Premiere Pro, Photoshop and After Effects. Yours could be some other media applications. So here I will go to Adobe. Then Come On. And here you have the folder Media Cache. Now open it and in here you have the temporary media files. Simply select all using Ctrl A and then hit delete to clear them. Next, you want to clear all unnecessary restore points you might have, either set automatically or manually, and then create a new one. Restore points accumulate data over time. The longer they extend, the more data they accumulate, and of course, the more disk space they occupy. You may want to clear this from time to time and set new ones if you have no issues with your computer. To do that, go to your search and type restore point, then click on create restore point from the search results. Here by default, there is a restore point set on drive C where Windows is installed. So with drive C selected, click on configure. And here you have it. By default, there is a cap set on 10 gigabytes, and I've almost maxed that out on my computer. Of course, it automatically renews the content, removing older and putting newer contents. But now I want to clear all the old stuff and create a new restore point. So here I'll click on delete. Continue. And then close this window. Now I will click on create to make a new restore point. Here I will name it after the date of creation to keep tap on when it was created. Hit create and wait for the process to complete. The final step for this tutorial will be to clear your browsing data and cache. This is often ignored but it could actually go a long way. Not just does it free up some disk space, it can also help to speed up your browser. 
to clear your browser cache open up the browser you use in my case i use google chrome but this process should be about the same for all other browsers here press the keyboard combination ctrl h to reveal your browsing history then on this left pane you will find where it says clear browsing data click on it a dialog box like this should pop up here click on the advanced tab and then you will see a list of data that you can delete First, I'm going to set my time range as all time from this drop down. Now, in my case, I'm going to leave the browsing history, so I will click to uncheck it. I don't need the download history, so I will have it selected. Then, click on clear data to remove selected files. Now, again, this might not mean so much to your disk space, but like I mentioned earlier, it can help to speed up your browser. And that is it for this tutorial. Again, this video was brought to you by Skillshare. Link to register and get two months free premium subscription will be in the description section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks or some other ideas on how to clear more caches in Windows that wasn't covered in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.